Okay, we're here at this thing again. Um, I did have it running because I had to pump up the tyre, which has probably gone down again. And I had to get the clutch working so it actually disengages, but it's really, really slow to drive, I'll show you. We'll get it started up, and I have to jump start it off this one. And the battery will end up flat, and it's raining, so I'm going to get wet. Oh, fuck. But also, I've got a rotary hoe. Um, I was driving through Cranbourne today, like the recently had a rubbish collection, and that was on the side of the road, so I don't know. I thought, oh well, I'll pick it up. Obviously, down there you can see that adapter or whatever it was, it's very rusty, everything's pretty much fucked. See if the wheels are seized, but we'll see how we go. So, anyway, I'll start this thing up. Okay, so I'm out here, it's running. I can't stop the engine because I haven't got a battery in it to start it. I can't, actually I might put a battery in it. Um, I can't stop the drive, I can't declutch it because I haven't got the clutch connected because the only way I'm getting it to move fast at the moment is um, directly clutched. I'll show you in a minute what I've done. So I've just got to jam it into gear really, really quickly so it doesn't crunch. I know that's not very good for the gearbox, but I'm only going to do it once just to test it out, see how fast we go, and we'll see what happens.
bit like a diesel pull out the lever to stop because I don't have any ignition wired up either don't have anything wired up at all there's a few wires there I've got to I'll actually do that so I think as I said in yesterday's video I want to um, put some relays and different things in there and have a proper charging circuit that um, with a voltage regulator off an alternator from a car so make it proper so anyway under here you can see there's some wire there holding the clutch everything I'll just um, lift the mower back um, hopefully we don't crush the camera fuck hot exhaust hot exhaust hot exhaust fine place it isn't so hot ow No, it's a bit too hot. Um, Alright, I'll just push it over now. Then I normally tip it on its end, but anyway. Alright. Um, so, yeah, here's our variable pulley, which is in the right position for once. So, that's about as fast as she'll go while we were just going. Um, yeah. So the clutch, because the clutch hasn't got enough travel in it to get all the way back with this linkage, linkage as you can see there's the linkage there's where it's meant to go into so there's two inches difference between where it should be and where it is I might actually try sticking into that hole I reckon even that hole is going to be too close so yeah um, spring probably could do with some more spring tension so I might reposition the spring down here because you get more tension off this position here than you do up here as far as lever leverage is concerned but yeah she's driving well and I've got another softer spring between this tensioner pulley here and the other one which is actually quite a lot better so at the moment we've got some sort of speed coming out of it otherwise we wouldn't have any I think everybody's seen how slow it was going yesterday if I glue the two videos together but anyway I'll fix her up then we'll come back 